one. So maybe when 601 or 603 is free, I can send them that. But just want to let you know so far. Hey, how you doing? This I can take the one in Spencerville. Uh, Kelso told me to stand down on the unwanted person, so I can hint there. This is Tom. All right, so far. I'll just go with the details again. It's Center Street, just near Cook Street and Cedar Street for five landscapers on scene uh, near the church working. I know name of the landscaping business. There's two trucks and a van. Send for What she said at the beginning is there were five people land doing landscaping and they had no mask on. So what's interesting is I saw this post on the Internet about someone who had been listening to this scanner in, um, uh, I'll show it to you right here. In, in Ottawa, Canada. And he said he was listening to it last night. And he says, like, every other call was something related, something related to the virus. And I've been listening to this about 15 minutes. And the one thing I noted we'll let you know when you're back in about... Mr. Z, just don't use the MDT, please, until you're back in service. I'm trying to let you hear what's going on. Um, what I noticed about the transmissions... in Ottawa is that uh, they provide on the air voice um, a lot of details about what the situation is. Where here in Pinellas County, where I live, they are very short, very, very short. Of course, they are hooked up with uh, a system that they have a terminal and they can type the details in the terminal. So that might be what why you don't hear much on the radio but in this particular area uh, in Ottawa the transmissions I've heard for the past 15 minutes they provide a lot of detail of what's going on what the condition of the patient is um, and a lot of the transmissions now are saying at the end of their transmission, whether the patient is positive or negative for the virus. That's kind of interesting. Unfortunately, uh, like most times when I go to record. When I go to record something, what I wanted to illustrate to you doesn't happen. So we're going to listen for a few more minutes and then... The other thing I noticed is they are very, very... Okay, the first one is Ontario Marker, Alpha, Sierra, Delta, Victor, 103, on a Chev, and it was from in front of 130 McLeod, and we put it in front of 55 Park Street at 9-11. Uh, oh, he broke it up. And the but rear bumper was damaged. Pull by SMC. I have another one. Sure. Little Chev Sonic, sort of dark gray. See, there again, he is providing details about. Sounds like a. So there again, he is providing, you're talking about an accident, I believe, he's providing a lot of details 
about the accident itself. Where, like I say, locally here, um, when the EMS and fire is is on site, they just you know they don't provide much information here locally on the voice communications. I guess say maybe they're using their terminals, and that's where all the details is. Just just a little different here in Ottawa than where I live in Pinellas County. Thought you might be interested in that. I have not heard since I start recording um, these EMS feedbacks from a situation where they said at the end of their transmission, either from that area. either virus virus positive or virus negative. For a while there, I was hearing these EMS calls, and every one of them at the end, they said um, corona positive, corona negative. Okay, that's it. Try it out. This is on Broadcastify, of course, and it's the Ottawa Area EMS Fire in OPP. I'm not sure what OPP. Uh, it's a female 5-0. Patients being negative. Correction. Patients being unknown for the COVID. Ah, see, see, she said station unknown, then she said station negative on COVID. So they are including in their voice transmission whether they think it's a COVID virus patient or not. I will need you on a code for transfer, picking up at the Queensway, dropping off at the Civic. You ready for detail? So anyway, my point is, it seems a lot more interesting than listen to my local fire and EMS because there are transmissions with lots, lots more details of what's going on. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.